Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back, we are back, it's good to be back for another episode of Quick Hits. I uh, got a big episode today on a Manny Pacquiao and Terrence Crawford update. Um, I know we haven't been on twice a day like we're supposed to be, like we usually are. I had some problems posting on Facebook, I didn't want to share everything. I, I didn't want to make all these videos if I couldn't get them out there. But we're back, we're going to be back twice a day, every day. We're back uh, one show today. Two shows tomorrow. I did a show early today on Mixed Combat Radio uh, with my co-host, Matt the Hips Hunter. So go check that out on YouTube at uh, Mixed Combat Radio. Uh, but um, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Um, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Hit the thumbs up, hit the bell, hit all that good stuff. Um, and let's get right into today's topic, which is, like I said, uh, we did the other show, the last show that we did a couple days ago was um, on, when the news broke of... This gem right here, Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao for June 5th in Dubai. It looked like all systems were a go. Um, I, I, I said that seems weird because they had negotiated for years and years. Um, I feel like we've gotten this memo before that we were real close and this fight was on the verge and then it's never happened. And it seems weird to me now that they couldn't make it when they were both on top rank and they were going to get it done all these years later when Pacquiao is not with top rank anymore and had to, you know, well, there was a ton of problems, but let's not get into that right now. Um, they also said, which was a red flag to me, that it was a, there was one hurdle left to climb and uh, to jump, and that was funding. And, and to me, if you ain't got funding, you ain't got nada. So look, I'm going to buy 10 Ferraris tomorrow. Um, the, the only hurdle I have left to climb is, is I need to get the funding for the 10 Ferraris. Oh, it's a problem, right? You know, so that, that, that seemed weird to me. That was like the first sign that this fight may not have problems. And if you remember, you go back, I don't know, four or five years ago, um, Pacquiao was supposed to fight Amir Khan. Um, I, I think in, in, in Dubai, it might have been UAE. And that fight was a go, and that fight was signed, except they didn't have any funding, so they called the fight off. Uh, and that happened. That was after Khan got knocked out by Canelo. Um, it was supposed to be his fight back. I guess that was 2017, I suppose. I think it was. Um, and that fight didn't happen. So, again, I said, I, I, it does, look, there's probably something to those rumors, but I don't think it's going to happen. Well, Today, Pacquiao's camp came out and said that fight's not going to happen. <laughs> the, the, that the forty million that they offered Crawford is nonsense. So initially, Pacquiao wanted twenty million, um, and then that number went from twenty to forty. And according to t uh, Bob Arum, top rank, they've offered him the forty million, and Pacquiao's side is saying is that's nonsense. I don't know, you know. Look, if they can, you know, it, 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 it's kind of like, you know, make me say yes. If they offer him $40 million, he'll say yes. Is that 40? I mean, I feel like we're in the A.J. Wilder thing. Is, 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 is the money legitimate? I, I don't know. That, that seems like a lot of money um, to guarantee anyone. Floyd Mayweather wasn't guaranteed $40 million for his fight with Pacquiao. And now Pacquiao is going to be guaranteed $40 million to fight Terrence Crawford? It seems a little crazy. It seems like nonsense. I, I, I don't know. Uh, but when you say it's $40 million guaranteed, we just need funding. It's like, yeah, well, I'm going to go buy 10 Lamborghinis tomorrow. I just need the funding. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't think this fight's going to happen. Um, and I, I've done episodes in the past. I think Terry Crawford is ducking. And I said, well, maybe he wasn't ducking. Maybe he was just focused, lasered in on making the Pacquiao fight. That's not, it does, doesn't look like it's going to happen if you're being reasonable. And I, I, I thought that in the past, but I said, okay, I thought that when we did the show the other day, but I said, all right, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they are close to this. No, they're not close to this. This fight's not going to happen. So 
Um, I, I, I still don't think Pacquiao is going to fight Mikey Garcia next. I do think that fight is going to come off. I, I don't know when. I don't know how. But I do think that's the next fight and Pacquiao's last fight. Um, so what's next for Terrence Crawford? It's a great question. Um, it looks like it's going to be Jose Cito Lopez. Um, that's the name that they keep throwing around. That's the name we keep mentioning that keeps getting thrown in discussions. Jose Cito Lopez. Now I like Lopez, and Lopez is a good fighter, and, and, and there's no shame in fighting Jose Cito Lopez, but there's, you know that's not the name that Terrence Crawford needs on his legacy. If you're going to make a fight with any of the PBC guys, Jose Cito Lopez? So, I mean, it, it's all nonsense. So, you know, um, he doesn't want to fight Porter. Because they're his friends, but that don't went out the window. Um, he don't want to fight Virgil Ortiz because Virgil Ortiz ain't ready. But he'll fight Jose Benavides, who has an even softer resume. You know, he doesn't want. I look, and I, I've been the biggest Bud defender for years and years and years and years. You, know, you can go check my old videos. You can check my work on MCR podcast. You know, I, I I've I've been an apologist. For Terrence Crawford, but but those days are over. Um, look, he needs to fight one of these names, and, and Jose Cito Lopez lost to Canelo like ten years ago. <laughs> Jose Cito Lopez got destroyed. Well, he lost to Keith Thurman just for, and I know he's got some good wins and he's done some good things. But I, is that a legacy fight? I mean, at this point, Crawford's got to fight one of the premier guys. He wants a 50-50 split or a split in his favor against Errol Spence. Errol Spence is a proven pay per view star. So look. Get with Keith Thurman, get with Sean Porter, make one of those fights happen. Because Pacquiao's got fights, Pacquiao's got options. You know, pa Pacquiao, what's Pacquiao's last fight's going to be? It's going to be whoever he wants it to be again. And personally, I, I think that name is Manny Pacquiao. Now, Manny Pacquiao said his, you know, his wife said a couple of years ago that he wasn't allowed to fight Terrence Crawford. So, there's that. Like you see it from Rocky Three, you can't win, Rock, but with Pacquiao. Like, that's what Pacquiao's wife did. So, I, I think you're going to get Pacquiao against... Um, Mikey Garcia, and you're going to get Terrence Crawford versus Jose Cito Lopez in two fights that, like, because uh, Crawford's going to destroy a whole Lopez. And then you got Pacquiao versus Garcia. It doesn't have a whole lot of impact on the division. So we don't know, even after all of this, who's going to be the king of the welterweight division because we're not getting anywhere close to that. These fights don't help settle that. But please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. Do you think this Pacquiao fight is going to happen? Do you think it's dead in the water now? I kind of do. I, 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 I It seemed weird to me when I first heard it. I don't think it's going to happen. You can, you can write that down. You can take a picture of this. I don't think Pacquiao Crawford is going to happen. Uh, let, let, let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below, below. Please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes just to keep you totally up to date. Tomorrow we're going to be back with a show about uh, Herring, and we're going to break that down. Um, and and, and, Frampton, and Herring and Frampton, we're going to break that down. Um, I'll tell you what I, I, I would expect um, to see in that fight. I'm going to do some, I'm going to watch the video on that and, and uh, do at least one, if not two shows tomorrow. On, on my, my Both shows might be on that. But let me know what you guys think. Um, Hit the bell icon, subscribe, share all from social media. Uh, it is February 1st, April Fool, Fool's Day, uh, but we're not fooling. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.